Alright, this is a full moon reading for Aquarius. Um, this is a wolf full moon in Leo. I feel like it's going to be next week, actually. So, yeah. Anyway, the Leo usually just speaks about inner strength, so mostly all the four questions have something to do with that, so we'll take a look at that right now. With the first question, what is your greatest inner strength? We have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is um, major anxiety, hope, despair, um, sadness, um, sleepless nights, constant stress, worry, female related, um, you know, health problems, um, reaching out. So this could be a little bit of, um, A little bit of self-help days, I feel like that would be very good, but I do feel like you kind of internalize anxiety, or you can use it as a force, um, actually energy. <laughs> You're so stressed out that you can work faster, more, um, more days, whatever the case is, because of your own anxiety, so that could be a thing. At number two, um, how can you step into your own power? We have the Three of Pentacles. No, the Three of Pentacles. What is the Three of Pentacles? Um, working with others. So the Ace of Pentacles is the first fruits of labor, a strong foundation, a cash inject, um, happiness and delight based for the future, opportunity, um, prosperity, and new venture. So um, I do feel... Like, you might need to change it up a bit. Maybe you look at something else or a new project that maybe you haven't considered or put on the back burner for too long where you kind of, like, forgot about it. Maybe you want to actually try it and uh, see what happens. But, you know, I feel like it might be out of your wheelhouse or it might be a project that you you never thought you'd do. So it's one of those projects. But I feel like it would be in your strength. Um... So, number three, what traits um, should be more celebrated? We have the King of Wands. King of Wands is cutting edge, big, big picture, um, creates tomorrows, is a leader, business-minded, overcoming challenges, taking charge, certain of own convictions. So, um, just, just being yourself, like taking on stuff, um, just because, um, taking, like, almost like a dare with yourself, um, and seeing how a project turns out, or a personal project turns out, that you never thought you'd do, that you never thought you would be able to do because of timing or work or something. I feel like now is the time to actually try. Um, so, you never know, it could be, like, you're an innovator and a motivator, um, and you just want to take that to the next level. It could also be that. Or be a mentor to somebody, you know. You could get the opportunity. Or you could be starting your own business or another project. So, could be one of those. Number four. Um, where can you take a bigger risk? We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is guilt over having to abandon people, avoidance, um, something not being as important as it seems, significance, being underestimated, fear of change, fear of loss. So, um, it, it could be that you're not getting rid of the old stuff that hasn't served you in the past. And you could just be keeping people around so you're not alone. Like, you have to have validation from other people. Which I don't understand, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, I do feel like you do have to sometimes strike out on your own, be a leader. Um, and right now it seems like you might be leaning on other people for some, some reason or another. Um, maybe just for confidence reasons. Maybe because... You don't want to be singled out. Stuff like that. And, you know... Eh, 
it could be a lot of adaption for you that, you know, you probably were like, oh, but they're my friends, blah, 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 but, you know, you might have to abandon them or avoid people because you want to work on your own things. You want to actually be your own superhero. You want to be your own best friend. You want to be your own, um, you want to be the person that you needed as a kid, and I feel like that's a big big thing for you. Um, I feel like you're kind of getting into that notion of being that person, um, and you might have forgot about it, so I would get into that, um, so that you can be more of yourself and actually, you know, tell eight-year-old, three-year-old, five-year-old you that, hey, I did, you know, what we planned on doing, you know. It's pretty cool that your inner child would be in on some of your projects that you always wanted to do. Anyway, um, Aquarius, I hope this helps you out in some way. Um, if you liked it, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below, and I will read those. I read everything, as you know. Um, and, you know, we'll see how this goes. I feel like, um... A lot of these readings have been people actually trying to get out of certain situations, but for you, I feel like it's just working by yourself, and that might be a little bit different for you, because maybe you're used to collaborating with a lot of people, so just a difference of perspective, alright? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye now.